Night Eyes 2 is a 1991 erotic thriller directed by Rodney McDonald and starring Andrew Stevens, Shannon Tweed, Tim Russ, Richard Chavez, Gino Silva, and John O'Hurley. The film opens with some B and E. The burglar works the door and it looks like he's on video. There's some searching leading to safe discovery. And he gets it open and starts snapping pictures. But, oh, security got you. Don't. Did he just say do? Will comes home after a hard day of shooting guys to find his buddy Jesse stealing his beer and tapping dad ass. But the surprise is on Jesse because Will reveals that he's a pervert and has been recording his sexcapades. Jesse wants in on Will's security business, but Will tells him to fuck off and goes to bed. Elsewhere, Foreign Counsel Mahenes and his wife Marilyn are in the good old USA, but someone is assembling a rifle, which is never a good thing. You dropped my bags, asshole! Did he just abandon his wife out there in the line of fire? Marilyn eventually gets inside and bodyguard Lewis kills the assassin. It's time to play Family Feud! The conversation with the cops can be summed up as saying, We suck. You need to call my security expert buddy so I can get a kickback. And it's Will! Oh, his company is called Night Eyes. Louis shows up at the office and wants to spend a ton of money, but Will is hesitant. But don't worry, Jesse is there to overstep his bounds and talk him into it. Your piece of shit better not leave oil stains on my driveway. They meet Hector, who gives a lowdown on things. Here's a security system installation montage. Hot wire cutting action. Ah, it would be good. Maybe another one over there by the door to cover the door. Are you sure Mr. Mahatis wants a camera in his bedroom? Don't you have a camera in your bedroom? Then we get a workout montage. She is actually listening to that music on purpose. You always sneak up on people like that? Uh, if you'll just give me a minute to install this camera, I'll be out of your way. Fine, I'm finished anyway. They're going to fall in love. Here's a scene of clubbing that is totally useless. There's some kind of info about using Marilyn's money for political influence, then our night eyes go to work. I tell you what, why don't you install the Eddie? I'll cover the monitors. Oh man, I worked hard enough last night. No payoff. So Will's gonna sit on his ass watching TV while Jesse does the labor. Will plays pervert and gets an alert on whoever this guy is. This is just a test. There's some hot Charlie horse action. Will is right in there to massage her thigh. My hero. Meanwhile, someone is watching. Everyone is out for dinner, and why is the security guy just sitting there like he's a friend? There's some political bullshit, but this lady Martha Mitchell's their ass, then sexually assaults Will under the table. They discuss dancing, but Marilyn has a headache and has Will bring her home, saving his ass from this man-eater. I gotta get out of these clothes. Will sure hopes so. Here's some backstory. Complete with uniforms. We were taught how to be proper young ladies. <laughs> of course, me being the rebel, I used to sneak out of the dorm at night and go hang out with the surfers. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, life before cell phones. Oh, almost! They go inside to change and Will gets a little pervy again. Here comes an assassin! Jesse gets shot and the assassin flees. In the ambulance there's some old school guard stuff and she is really forward comforting Will. And there it is! Hector arrives and Will informs him that there's a leak. Then he leaves to check on Jesse, but has someone following him. Be so respectful.
Looks like Marilyn wants to have some hanky panky. They go to Will's office and get it on. This visit to Jesse is of no real use. Will goes back to work and I'll just take this video home for later. Hector lets Will know that he's going to Mexico City and needs Will to move in 24-7 while he's gone. Here, in light of what has happened, I think it would be prudent even for you to move into the house in order so that my wife can have 24-hour protection. Oh, and Senor Griffith. Thank you for your help. Also, thank you for pleasuring my wife. Then Hector asks for his allowance. What do you need this time? In the round figures, and I'm being conservative, no more than a million. Hector splits and Marilyn immediately goes after Will. There's a shopping montage and they go to a bookstore where Will gets fresh. The hell? Is he going to leave a hickey on her thigh? Yeah, we left a bit of a mess in your cookbook section. That night they get it on as Luis watches. And he steals the tape. The next day, Louise pulls some cryptic shit, then leaves. Will and Marilyn hunt for the tape, and no one checks the VCR, but they do find the silencer that was used to shoot Jesse. Louise is the bad guy. I am shocked. What the matter with you? <laughs> Wouldn't the moisture of the toilet tank ruin that tape? And why would you keep what was left of a homemade silencer in your room? Louise asks Jesse for some info, eventually resorting to torture. But Jesse doesn't give up. He checks his dry cleaning and then smothers Jesse to death. Louise leaves so much evidence in this room, it should be an open and shut case. Marilyn and Will attempt to contact Hector as Louise breaks into Will's apartment. What a guard dog! Will and Marilyn show up and hey, it's Jay Peterman. They find out Jesse is dead and it looks like the cops have an actual case against Luis. They let Hector know what's going on and then go into police protection. <laughs> Holy shit! There's some gun lossage, fighting, gun discovery, more fighting, and just when it looks like someone is getting shot... Nope. That's some brutal shit right there. Will goes on a bit of a publicity tour where he gets a major award from Hector. Of course his friend is dead and he's probably not going to get those cop referrals anymore. What a fucking pervert. Marilyn shows up at Will's place and gives him a tie for fucking her and saving her life. I guess it's also a tie to celebrate the fact that she's getting divorced. They begin the lovemaking process, but not so fast. It turns out Hector was trying to have her killed so that he could get all of her money. Once again, I am so shocked. And I guess he had a great plan to get away with it. You seem to forget, my dear. I have diplomatic immunity. What? Diplomatic immunity! There's a fight, and thank God that's over. It isn't, and... Now you don't need to get that divorce! Night Ice 2 is a predictable piece of ultra softcore porn that would have felt right at home at the after midnight slot on Skinamax. There's not much of a plot, and the acting is pretty laughable. The biggest question plot-wise is, if Hector and Luis were both in on murdering Marilyn, why did Luis kill the assassin at the beginning of the movie? It would make more sense to just let the assassin take care of her before you went total batshit on security. I also wonder if Will still got paid. Apparently Night Eyes 2 is one of four films that features security expert and dong slinger Will Griffith. If this film's an indication of how the other ones are going to be, then... We're looking at a pretty mediocre franchise.
I will not be obligated to perform for you. 